And well, what I have to talk to you with you guys about is about Saturday's game. The way I have to get started with this is um it's not really easy to speak to tell y'all talk to y'all about to y'all about this. Um on Saturday I didn't really do much, but but hold up there. What I did do is I made one tackle and also the best part is I got one touchdown. Sadly, my my lady she didn't film that because she told me literally she just didn't feel like it. And it really upset me, so this is why I'm kind of here talking to y'all about this. I got one tackle and one touchdown Saturday. That's enough for me to do. So let me explain to y'all what happened on the tackle to get this over with. Um, what happened was that the quarterback, he scrambled for the ball. He scrambled. With, he was trying to, he was, you know, he was doing his little job um, trying to see who was open. Well, sadly... In our defense, everybody was locked up. Um, he had no other choice but to run it forward. And um, as soon as he saw me coming, he slipped. Obviously, on purpose, because he doesn't want to get hit. Because at this game, um, their team only had 12 players. One player, I think it was their kicker, he was out. He didn't play for the rest of the game. So they have 11 men. Only 11 men. That's it. So obviously, that's a smart choice. And um, take a slide. And what happened to me? I just touch him. That counts as a tackle. And with the touchdown, what happened was that for some reason, they went on a fourth down like five or ten yards away from their end zone, from their, from their own end zone. I don't know why the hell they would do that, but they still did it. Well, they got the balls to do it, and well, they pay the price at the end. So what happened was their center, he snapped the ball too high for the quarterback. And obviously it was a fumble. So what happened was that the my defensive end, I'm lined up on the weak side, which is on the right side. And for the offense, it's their left side. So what happened was that I will, my call, coach told me the blitz. So I blitzed at the wrong at the wrong place. I was supposed to blitz inside. Instead, I went outside. So, you know. Sadly, I disobeyed what coach told me. So when the ball was fumbled, um, the defensive end in front of me, he was about the, he literally caught the ball, but he didn't have full possession of it. He dropped it he, because obviously he wasn't controlling it. And as soon as he dropped it, I just dived and I took his touchdown. He got a little mad. He said, oh man, you just took the really, bro. I say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's all good, you know. But here's the story what I'm about to tell you guys. I, I took this personally, and when it comes to me taking stuff personally, I don't play around with it. I don't talk smack. I don't talk trash. I just remember everything, the single words that that person or whoever was that told me. So that same player, that defensive end who I'm just telling y'all about right now, a couple of weeks ago, he said on the Facebook page from the Arlington Bulldogs page, it's private. It's only for the players and coaches. I'm a troller. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I love trolling around. I love messing around. I love um pissing off people out of nowhere. It's just my thing. It's just what our trolls do. So I was trolling around and he said, um, one of, he commented down below saying, who's Jorge? I don't even know who he is. Who is he? I don't know if he was playing around or taking it personal, but me, um, I just, I stay calm. I didn't say nothing. I didn't reply nothing. Of course, there was anger going through my head, like saying, like, type in and say, oh, you'll see who I am. But, you know, I just kept my cool. I just remember ex the exact same words he said. So what happened was that um, also here's another story about the same player. Last year, when I was playing with the DFW ring, I asked him. I only asked him because it was the last four minutes of the game. We're already winning like 14, 14 to 7. The, the team we played was crap. I asked him if I could play one series, one series for defensive end. You know, you, know, you really want to know what his response was. Nah, man. Coach, coach told me to stay here and play. I'm just like, but dude, I told him, but come on now. 
It really doesn't matter. We won. They lost. Come on now. He's like, no, man. I said, I didn't say nothing back after that. I just said, I just remember the exact same words he said. I remember his face. I remember him, his Facebook profile. I'm not going to expose him. I'm not going to give his name out there, but I'm just letting y'all guys know a story, really. So, until a year, a year by goes later, later goes by. And my response to his, his question is, I am Jorge Mendoza or Mendoza football. And I am the guy who stole the touchdown from you. That's my response. He can go sleep on that. He'll sleep on that. He'll wake up every single day in the morning. He'll think about it every single time he goes eat. He eats somewhere. And he'll remember every single time before he goes to sleep. He'll remember that. I stole his touchdown. Why? He didn't want it. If he wanted it, he would have hold full possession of it. I stole it from him. I admit it. I really don't care. I worked so hard. I go to practice. I never seen this guy attend not even one single practice. So really, I got no respect for players like that who never show up to practice. Never. If you're busy, if you got plans, it's cool. Just let us and coaches know. Us, the players and coaches know what, what's going on. And we understand. But if you don't if you don't even make an attempt to go to one single practice, I got no respect for you. No sympathy for me at all. I stole his touchdown. I earned that touchdown, really. He didn't want it. I wanted it more than he did. So that's that. That's all I really have to say. I wish it was recorded. But, oh well, I did my job. So I'm sorry, guys, if I get too personal. But that's just my expression, really, how I deal with um, trash talking, really. I don't play around with whenever it comes to that BS. You shouldn't either, really. Just stay classy, guys. Don't say nothing. Let your game speak for you. And every single time you go to practice, work harder every single time and play with pride, all right? This is what I have today for today's channel. Um, also, um, I have a few clips on the game that my girl, she recorded me on on my GoPro. And since it was windy that day on Saturday, uh, I was uh, every single time we got on kickoff, I will always hold the ball. I don't know if you guys want to see it, but you guys are more than welcome to see it. Everyone who sees this channel, if you're here on this channel right now watching this video, you are welcome. Any time of the day. Come see my channel, and let's help this channel grow together. If y'all can do it, if y'all can help me, I'll help with y'all, reward y'all with some prizes. So, next, I'll see you guys next time, and play with pride. Peace.